Hello, I'm Dr. David Onwin. I'm a GP working in the north of England. I've been here, more or less in this office, for 30 years now. Uh, for the last 20 years, I've been quite involved in educating young doctors, so that's one of my great interests. And then really, the important thing is for the last five years, I've been using the low-carb approach for my patients with type 2 diabetes. And I'm really excited to share with you the brilliant results we've got here and the difference it's made to my life and the lives of my patients. Um, just to set this in context, so we have 9,000 patients here. We have five doctors. And uh, I started, first of all, five years ago. Um, I was anxious to help the people with pre-diabetes. Then the results were so great that we went on uh, to people with type 2 diabetes. It's reached a point now that um, every year we're spending about £40,000 less on drugs for diabetes than is average for this area. And that is drawing quite a lot of international attention. Although the drug budget savings are not why we are doing this, uh, it's to do with the quality of medicine that we can do and the uh, terrific rewards from working collaboratively with enthusiastic patients because that is so new uh, for me anyway. Um, and uh, the purpose of these uh, short videos is to share some of the things I've learned along the last uh, four or five years, particularly the practical tips so that you as the viewers maybe get some stuff to take home and try out in your own surgeries. So we'll be going through the sort of ideal patients that you might begin with, some easy patients to begin with. We'll be going through things that you should be measuring. Um, then the first steps in communicating about the low-carb approach with your patients, what's a really easy way to begin these conversations? How do we politely uh, chat about obesity with a patient? Maybe, I, I know for me, I avoided talking about obesity for years because I thought it was rude, but we can do this politely. And then we need to think about what drugs might the patients already be on and what we're going to do about those. Well, how about safety? Perhaps we ought to touch on that. What things might worry us? What we're going to do about those um, things? And uh, I'm very interested in patient motivation. This is all about behaviour change. So we have to be interested in motivation. What are the psychological steps that we can take towards motivating our patients to bring about change. Um, so we'll be covering feedback uh, as part of that. So uh, I hope you're interested. As I say, this uh, approach has made such a difference to me in this practice. I was ready to retire about five years ago. I'm still here, I'm enthusiastic, and it's been a great journey. So let's make a start. Thank you.